All right, using the processing assistant, first thing you're going to want to do is go to the setup screen. Once there, you're going to want to select part. You want to give that part a name. For this purpose, we'll give it a demo. Once that's completed, you're going to want to assign the modules. Following that, you want to go to the process screen. Here, you'll find the tab that says processing assistant. Because all the modules on this part are the same dimensions, we're going to select all and confirm. Next, it'll give you two options. You can choose to dial in this process with all the modules running or one by one auto advance, starting with one point going to the next. After that, we'll go next step. Here, it gives you several options for the height and the color. Choose accordingly. Before we start the process, we want to be sure to keep our eyes very close on this process to look for any apparent smoking at the beginning or end of the cycle. Once completed, you're going to be prompted with two to three questions. This instance, it is asking, was there smoking at the end of heating, and is the steak fully formed? You'll answer yes or no to both, and run another cycle. Following the second cycle, it's going to ask you two more questions. Was there smoking at the end of heating, and is the steak fully formed? We'll submit those answers, and it should move on to the next point. Answering the same questions as before and running another cycle. And again, we're going to be asked the same two questions. Running another cycle. All right, now that the processing assistant has dialed in as close as possible to the fastest cycle time, you're going to apply to all the modules. And that's how easy it is to find the recipe using the processing assistant.